chatter, laughter, and the unmistakable sound of skates carving paths through the ice. These are the sounds that now fill the Nemeo ice rink. But the rink wasn't always the perfect picture of Canadiana. There was a time where it was more of an eyesore than a neighborhood treasure. Hockey dad Todd Hudek says the rink had become worn down, was used more of a party shack than a recreational facility. Some of the residents, um, because this was becoming a party shack, um, because nobody was using it as, a, as, a, as for skating anymore, so they wanted to tear it down. With some hard work and elbow grease, along with grant funding from Sturgeon County, Hudek and a few other hockey dads turned it into a labor of love. We took it upon ourselves to redid the boards, like I said, painted it, and then uh, this year was the skate shack. Each year, Sturgeon County Council allocates money to assist community associations with projects and services that demonstrate direct community benefits. Organizers say the benefits here are blatantly clear. The nice thing now is the rest of the community comes out and uh, they realize, you know, this is this is our community rink and we take we take care of it, we respect it. There's no more um, mischief or, or graffiti in the skate shack anymore and uh, it's, it's a really good um, center point now for the community. The group hopes to apply for further funding to create a park just behind the rink so parents can keep an eye on their kids as they play. Grant funding from Sturgeon County helped build this rink, but what the funding also did was build a sense of community too. Just to see people getting to know each other. Um, I, I find, you know, um, in this day and age, people are losing that. They don't really know who their neighbors are anymore. And with this, people are getting to know their neighbors. To qualify for grant consideration through the 2016 Callahoo Villeneuve Enhancement Fund, all groups must be recognized by the county. If your group is not on the list, make sure that your application is submitted no later than October 30th of this year to be considered. For more information, you can log on to our website at sturgeoncounty.ca. For Sturgeon FYI, I'm Allison Sauls.